Hey everyone, Melanie Minchinger here, illustrator for Gina K Designs. I am so excited to be giving you a sneak peek of my newest set from Gina K Designs, Men of Faith, and this is coming out on Thursday, September 27th. So today I'm going to be doing this emboss resist technique. It's got a pattern behind it, and this is also the new rubber, beautiful, elegant script that Gina is releasing, so I thought it went so well with this masculine set. This is the counterpart of my Women of Faith set that I released a few weeks, months ago, excuse me, uh, we've had a hard time keeping it in stock and we got so many requests to have a male counterpart so you're gonna love having all of these different words here that are gonna express and be perfect for every different relationship that you would need to send the cards for and then you've got about let's see 46 different greetings here words that you can put together in a combination of sentiments for any kind of thank you encouragement or the special occasions in your men's lives. The products that you're going to need in addition to the Men of Faith set, I've got some cardstock here. This is the Gina K Pure Luxury White Heavy Base Weight. It's four and a quarter by 11 inches, scored at five and a half. Then the piece that we're going to be stamping on, this is four inches by three and an eighth. And we've got a piece of the Gina K Pure Luxury Black Onyx. This is four and a quarter by three and three eighths. Going to be doing our stamping with the Versamark, Versamark watermark stamp pad. I've got the Gina K Designs Jet Black Amalgam ink and the powder blue. Got some of the clear Gina K Designs embossing powder. You'll need a heat gun. And then I am using the 4x6 block for the silhouette, but you could also use her 3x4 inch block or a round one. And then I've got a small one for doing my greetings. I'm going to be doing the background stamp face up and so I just have some scratch paper that I'm going to be using for a bunch of different reasons on this card to do some masking and to make sure I don't get my fingers dirty. So let's begin by getting the background stamp inked up so that we can put this script on here. So I love having a pattern show through when I do an emboss resist. So this is just a perfect one for a masculine card. I love having script on designs because it always conveys history or a story. And one that's as stylized as this, you can't read it, but then it can apply to anybody. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to lay my mat right down on that inked piece. And then I'm gonna put my scratch paper over it so I can just rub all over that and really make sure I get the whole thing lift that up and then lift that up okay so I'm going to put this aside and now let's go ahead and stamp the profile so as you can see I've got praying hands here just like in the women of faith set but today I just wanted to use the profile for this so I'm just going to use this piece of paper just to mask off those hands because I only want the silhouette image so you can do faith-based cards or just use the man and I'm really excited to show you some of the other sets that we have in our release doesn't always have to be for serious cards I came up with something pretty funny with this man and our incentive set so be sure to come out at the party so that you can see that so when I pull this away I don't have anything on those hands and I'm just gonna stamp this right into this corner here and I'm leaving about a quarter to an eighth of an inch on there you can see I've got a lot of staining on this stamp already I've made about 15 cards since it came last week and we'll pull that away and a watermarking ink is invisible so you can see it better on a colored piece when I tilt it in the light though I can see the profile there now I'm going to use this same piece of paper and I'm going to use this to catch my embossing powder so I'm just going to pour this all over the profile And just tap it off. You can see I've got a nice coating on there. I'm going to funnel this back into the jar and close it up. You might have seen one of my other videos when I accidentally had the heat gun toward it and it went everywhere. So we're going to go ahead and just turn the gun on and close, but not too close, and just move it around, and you're going to start to see that powder go from a dusty finish to a shiny clear finish. I think I've got 
out the whole thing. I'm going to tilt it in the light. So I'm going to let that just dry for a second. I hit it accidentally with my finger touching it and it kind of made a little blurry spot there. So then I think I forgot to say also that you're going to need some adhesive and you're going to need your sponge dauber. So here's the sponge dauber. Here's some of the new Gina K Designs Thermoweb Tape Runner and then just some foam squares for popping that up. Okay, so it's nice and dry now. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take my sponge dauber and my powder blue and this might look a little bit more turquoise. I think I had a little bit of green still left on my sponge dauber from a previous project. But I'm just going to start right there at the outline so that you see the man emerge. Just get it nice and dark there. Isn't that pretty? And then if you want to leave that open, or I like going around this edge just because it's like adding an extra layer, that little reveal to your card. And you can extend this soft blue as far down on here as you want but I like it gradually fading out like that, okay? And now we're gonna pick our greetings. So let's look at some of these greetings that we have here. So I put Be Strong and Courageous. I made this for my son who's in high school. He's got such a heavy junior year and football on top of that. Be Strong and Courageous is part of a Bible verse, but if you look at some of the words that we have here, you could also make this say, you are strong and courageous or he is strong and courageous. So I think I'm gonna do you are on this one and I'll give this to my other son. So I'm gonna start out with the longer words and you could put them all in the block at the same time, but I kind of like to kind of build them up and see where I want the spacing. So I've got my courageous and that just fits really nicely there near the bottom. And then we will do the strong. And I hope you notice that I've got the little necklace there and a cross. This can hang around his neck or he can hold it in his hands. So I'm looking forward to showing you some samples with that at our party and then in our videos coming. And then I'm going to take the little and sign, the ampersand. And then I'm going to do you are. Because this is men of faith, I like how when we've got the he is and the you are, you could also be referring to God or Jesus. I do. Okay, I put those in reverse order. That's why I couldn't find it. Okay. Oh, that's and. Hang on. R. Here we go. You are. And that's just going to work up around his profile there. You. Okay. And you can use these different greetings with the Women of Faith set. And you can also use the different techniques, any of the techniques that you have seen me do with that female silhouette. On my YouTube channel, you can do with the male silhouette. So lots of fun, bold techniques with this image. And then I'm just going to put this on some foam squares and mount that on my card. Now, what I thought I would like to do, I love to show you different layouts. So this one I'm going to do as a landscape layout. So let me remove the backing. But I'm really excited to show you more te techniques with this man and with the different greetings. Excited to see what our team is going to do. Let me know in the comments which of these layouts you prefer. And I would also love to hear if you have a fav favorite Bible verse or a favorite inspiring quote. You might see it show up in one of my sets one day. Thank you for watching. Please visit us at Stamp TV and Hands, Head and & Heart, my blog. Also on my YouTube channel. I hope you'll subscribe and come out and check out our release party on September 27th, Thursday night, 7 p.m. Central. Thank you. God bless.